individual hopes and dreams about your future together. The two of you have made a very private decision in your hearts and in your minds to love and to cherish each other and to forsake all others. You're here to witness and to help celebrate the public expression of that private commitment that you've made to one another. And before I go too much further, I, I'm going to pause for a moment and, and, uh, and thank you for letting me be part of uh, this special day. Um, I'm not going to lecture you. I won't give you any advice on a successful marriage. I, I think that would be very presumptuous of me. Uh, but I also think I've got a pretty captive audience here. So I'm going to take the opportunity to share with you my own personal thoughts about the significance of a ceremony like this. Uh, I realize that my role here is very limited. Uh, you might say that I'm here to put the governmental stamp of approval on a very, very personal decision that you two have made to want to make this commitment to each other. And, and clearly, the essence of what we do here this afternoon won't lie with any magic words that we say and won't lie with the stroke of a pen on a piece of legal paperwork. I think the essence of what we do here this afternoon lies with the character and the strength and the nature of the commitment that you two bring to each other and to your relationship. Now there are, are many ways to symbolize this commitment, but one of the most meaningful is the exchange of rings. So, uh, Tolga, I'm going to ask you to get out the ring that you're going to give to Gamzin and to uh, Repeat after me while placing the ring on her finger. Gamze, I give you this ring. Gamze, I give you this ring. Please wear it as a symbol. Please wear it as a symbol. Of our love. Uh, of our love. And our respect. And our respect. For each other. If you'll repeat after me. Tolga, I give you this ring. Tolga, I give you this. Please wear this ring. Please. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of our love. Of our love. And our respect. And our respect. For each other. For each other. ceremony to ask if anyone knows of a reason why this couple should not be joined together in marriage today and if so you must speak now or forever hold your peace well good I was hoping <laughs> it, it brings us to what I always think of as being the most important part of the marriage ceremony it's the uh, marriage vows and uh, Tolga and Gamze have decided to do two vows, uh, the traditional marriage vows, which we will do first. And then they would like to share with each other and share with you their own personal vows to each other. So, uh, Tolga, do you take Gamze to be your lawfully wedded wife, for better or for worse, in sickness or in health, for richer or poorer, and for today, and always. Yes. Gamze, do you take Tolga to be your lawfully wedded husband, for better or for worse, in sickness or in health, for richer or poorer, and for today, and always? Yes. And now, uh, you would both like to share your own personal vows. Uh, Gamze, would you like to go first? <laughs> Okay, good. As a family, we understand uh, each other only as a family can. Uh, a family is forever, and there isn't that uh, other only like ours. Okay. Gamze. You are so beautiful. 
in my heart, I know that uh, you will be my um, friend, my faithful partner in life, and my one true love. I promise to love you. Love with you and guide you. Always be open and honest with you. And uh, cherish you forever as long as uh, we both shall live. If you take a moment and join hands. Um, first of all, that was beautiful. I want you to take a moment and relax. Take a deep breath in and let it out slowly. And remember the day. Remember the beautiful blue skies that we've had today and the bright sunshine on this fall day. Um, remember the warmth and the beauty and the magnificence of this building and this room. Remember, of course, the, the gaze of your friends and loved ones. And remember even the small things, like the feeling of your fingers in each other's hands. Let all of this be a memory that will bind you together forever. Don't let the memory be tarnished by the passage of time or just of common events. Olga and Gamze, by the authority that is vested in me, by the state of Wisconsin and by the county of Dane, I will now pronounce the two of you husband and wife. And you may kiss me. Let's give them a round of applause and see what they're doing.